Hi, my name is Jenna and I'm a grade 12 student at Colorbor High. I'm Bernie Moore and I'm going to be going to high school. And we're going to talk to some people today to show you why Eastern Passage needs a high school. What can you tell us about the kids in Eastern Passage and their early departures for school? Well, many kids from Eastern Passage have to be at their bus stop well before 7 in the morning. Um, this means uh, early wake-up time in order to be there and ready for the bus. Um, and just losing this extra hour of sleep each night, or even just half an hour, uh, means that a sleep deficit can creep up and result in, in symptoms due to lack of sleep and result in impaired memory, impaired concentration, impaired ability to learn. And it also means when they get to school they're less attentive. Uh, some of them are nodding off on the early morning classes. They're less willing to put time and effort into their homework assignments. And with this, these long bus rides it's been shown that students selectively pick courses that have less homework and requires less, less effort. As a father, do you feel comfortable letting your daughter take public transit home after school hours? It's simply too far to go and too uh, long a bus ride for her to be on. Uh, especially in the winter time, she would, wouldn't be getting home until well, it's well after dark. And I don't feel comfor her, comfortable with her making a connection in downtown Dartmouth on her own where there's no uh, one else around her, none of her friends. And uh, down in the city, I. I wouldn't let her participate in extracurricular activities if that's what it meant. I heard you had an interesting experience in grade 10 uh, trying to coordinate public transit to get home after school. There was one night that I was at Eldenby after school. I had um, been preparing for a peer ed presentation at the school and I had a guy come up to me and ask, just tell me that he was going to rape me and it was kind of like, what, what's going on here? Like, I don't understand. I don't know. I'm not really a big person, so it's just kind of sketchy because I think one person, if they're big enough, could easily overpower me. Yeah. So, wasn't the, 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 so you didn't feel safe uh, taking public transit? No, I so. ended up going into Elderly and asking for a security guard to stand outside and wait with me until my bus came. I feel that by having a high school in Eastern Passage, you can have Cowbay, Shearwater, Eastern Passage, and then Woodside all coming to a school together. And we all take the 60, so it's just the one bus. So it's just going to mean that there's more accessibility for students to go to extracurricular activities because you're not taking the different buses and have the late night connections and stuff. It's just like a matter of minutes on the 60, which isn't bad at all. How does school create a sense of inclusion and belonging? So taking an extra long bus ride to a different community, to a school that feels like it's somebody else's school, doesn't foster a sense of belonging. And belonging is a basic human need, particularly in teens. They have an intense desire for inclusion and belonging. One major problem with the increased transit time is that they can't fully participate in the school experience, in school activities. Extracurricular activities are very important. There are studies that have shown that with increased participation in extracurricular activities, there's a decreased incidence in depression. When there's an extra long bus ride home or no bus to get them at five in the afternoon, they're much less able to take part in these extracurricular activities. Hey, do you want to come play? I have to go catch my bus, sorry. Many kids who don't succeed in school or who drop out of school do so not because they lack the cognitive skills, but because they feel isolated and detached or like they don't belong. When students are able to take part in extracurricular activities, they feel an important part of their school. They feel like they, are, uh, they belong to their school and their community. And with that comes an enhanced sense of self-worth, increased self-confidence, increased motivation, um, increased enthusiasm for everything that's going on within the school. They want to take part in teams and activities. Yeah, I felt going to Colorado High, I felt unplugged from Eastern Passage. Every day you spent in another community. So you felt like you were from Coal Harbor rather than being from Eastern Passage. You're there so much out of the day. Um, and when you got home, you couldn't really belong to an Eastern Passage um, team. Well, the, the biggest thing for me was getting up early. I had to get up about 6 in the morning to catch the bus at 7. Um, that in itself makes it for like a, kind of a long day. Um, and for extracurricular activities, you couldn't really uh, participate because of the distance in itself. 
and the fact that you know getting up that early and going to school you retire by the end of the day so you didn't really want to participate I think it'd be pretty tough I mean if if I was a single parent or whatever I'd be pretty worried having my kid or whatever bust off like early in the morning and if he stayed after school late at like late at night and stuff so my mom works full time we only have one car so she'll have to go back and take care of my brother if I go to school Cole Harbor I'd be missing on extra activities like sports and clubs and pretty much all that extra time because with all like the bills and everything you can't really go and pay your way into like a in a club around here because they're pretty expensive but if you're with school they're all they're not really that expensive or they're free yeah I think it would be tough for my mom to afford extracurricular activities well, I wanted to make this video because um, I wanted to go to a high school in Eastern Passage in my own community that, that would probably uh, be my biggest concern is me being able to take part in anything he does after school and I don't want to be able I don't want to have to say to him well, Isaac, I, 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 don't, I don't think you can, you know, take part maybe in, in the science club or chess club or, or whatever because I don't have any way to get you home because this bus only, this late bus only runs on Tuesday and Thursday, I think I've been told. Well, maybe uh, that science club runs on Wednesday. Well, you know, I, I can't get you. Yeah, you're going to have to come home and so be it. So he doesn't have the opportunity that, you know, it seems like the Cool Harbor kids have or Auburn has. I just, uh, I think it'd be really nice for us to have that here where I, I've heard we've got the land for it and I think it'd be fantastic for it to be here. But I guess that's that's probably my, my key thing is the extracurricular activities and the, and the busing. That's just mind boggling for people to get on a bus at 7 a.m. in the morning when, you know, they could have a school within, you know, 15 minute walk perhaps away. So do you feel you got gypped? Uh, no, I don't think that'd be the right word. Uh, for it. I, I wasn't afforded the, the same opportunities as other people in other schools in HRM. I wasn't able to pr participate in the same uh, team sports or extra help. So um, my, my experience overall was good, but like I said, I wasn't afforded the same opportunities as other students in the area. As far as I can tell, the other schools are overcrowded. Um, when I graduated Cole Arbor High in 2003, the, the school was quite full. Some of my classes had 40, 50 people. I remember one of my classes in itself had 50 people. So that in itself is not a good learning environment in my opinion. I totally feel like Culhaber High is overcrowded. I mean grade 12 students don't get lockers at our school and I think that's a really big deal because in grade 12 I know like personally like, I took a lot of sciences and maths and stuff and that's a lot of textbooks just to be carrying around with you all day. Plus where most of our school is bus students or they walk you have all that winter gear and stuff and then you have nowhere to put it so you're just carrying it around with you or wearing it all day and I just don't think it's really healthy or just a good situation for our students to be in. We plan on staying in the passage probably uh, until our kids are well beyond high school and into post-secondary. Uh, Eastern Passage is a community that, that we definitely want to stay a part, part of. Um, we feel that uh, we can contribute a lot but that the passage can also can contribute and offer a lot to, to our family so we the community here in Eastern Passage they actually offer pretty much everything uh, we have our grocery store we have every school except the high school we have restaurants skate the skate park parks um, soccer fields baseball fields uh, it's definitely a community of growth oh, um, and yeah. in that comes more people, more families, yeah. um, and I, I guess that's one of the things that I always thought about um, when I first moved here was the fact that it shocked me that we didn't have a high school, and then as I see all the the new subdivisions going up, and there's still debate as to whether or not Eastern Passage can support a high school. It's like, is well, it? have these people been to Eastern Passage? <laughs> Do they not see the size of it? Do they not yes. see the communities yeah. um, that uh, create this passage? Um, and I think probably not. I think they stop at Fisherman's Cove. They yeah. don't come up the hill. I think they stop at sheer <laughs> water and don't Maybe come not. beyond. They don't come beyond. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. It is. I think. So why do you guys want a high school in Eastern Passage? Because there's always a worry of illness and if you get sick at school, it's unfortunate if you have to stay there through the whole day and no parents can come pick you up or anyone. Because 
I don't like to wake up at 5 30 a.m. every morning to catch the bus on time. Do you want to do any kind of sports? You can just walk home without your parents worrying about you. Because they can walk to the quickly. So that people that live in Eastern Passage don't need to go to a different community and they can stay in their own community where all their friends and their family is. Because I can walk to it and ride my bike. Because I like to play sports after school and if I take a bus to go harbor, then I won't be able to play sports after school as much. Because we have the population and this is what we need. We are the largest community in Nova Scotia without a high school.